First, I should check the Monokuma file. All right, give me the details. The victim is invent. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Yuruma. The body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death is 6.30 a.m. There are no external wounds on the body. No external wounds kill around 6.30 in the morning. Time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual world. Um, Kichi, what do you want? Ah. You don't have to be so wary of me. It's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Shuichi. Um. It's just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaito said he wouldn't team up with you for this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, um... Keeping an eye out? It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaito as your partner, okay? Alright! But I'll help you as much as I can. So where are you gonna investigate now? What is he up to? Why is he following me? Hmm. Hell, you cool cats, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3! Killing Harmony. I'm Mina, and let's get this investigation underway. All right. So everyone's favorite character is uh, is dead over here. So I guess that's a good place to start as any. Muse's hands were clasped around her neck, as if she were gasping for air. Her eyes are wide in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. Wow. Ew, that's one grody face. You must have suffered a lot. <laughs> a vulgar death fit for a vulgar bitch. Hey! Stop it, Kokichi. Even if you're joking, that's too far. It's nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right? Even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. I suppose I'll never get Kokichi to change. But... What? What's Muse cause of death? It doesn't say in the Monokuma file. Huh. Um. Um, may I? I wanted to let you know just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way. Um, I was the first one to log out and find Muse's body. She was still wearing the helmet, and her body was contorting in this awful position. Alright. Before we go into this, um you know, any further. I have a couple things I wanted to note. Um, the last time I played was actually the day before Thanksgiving? I think? Well, whenever it was. It was it was before Thanksgiving, so um, I've had enough time to sit and think about what exactly had happened. So, both Mew and Kokichi were acting strange. I don't think that's I don't think that's, you know, me pulling out crazy detective work here and being like, ah, they were acting strange. No, that's pretty, that's pretty plain obvious. So, my question is, is why were they acting strange? Um, I think, I, I think, I think Mew, I think Mew and Kokichi were planning a murder. That is what I'm thinking. And I think... I don't know if they were in cahoots with each other completely. I, maybe they were. But it seems pretty obvious that they they wanted a couple things. They wanted one, they wanted to be split up so that way she was on the side of the capsule uh, next to the chapel and he was in the room that could log out. Additionally, Kaito had to be on the roof. Why was this the case? I do not know. But they wanted that position for some sort of murder. Now, the thing that I don't know is... 
I, I feel like I feel like if that's the case, then they were setting up Kaito to somehow be the murderer. If they were trying to set up Kaito to be the murderer for some reason, then they must have had something planned where he would he would you just get logged out. That way he would be the most likely suspect because he got logged out. And I think something went wrong in their plans. And I don't know if I don't know if Kyokichi like foiled Mew's plans or if there was a, a, a another person who foiled the plans. But I I'm under that impression. Um and, and I think I think uh I don't know if Koki I don't know if Kokichi did this murder per se, but I feel like he may have set up whoever actually did this murder. I think like like he might have set up the the domino effect of Mew getting strangled. Like maybe there's a trick to how that happened and he was the one who had set it up. But maybe somebody else triggered it. Intentionally or not intentionally is the question. Because I don't think he did it. I really don't. Um. I don't think he's... He, I'm not saying that he's a good person. I'm not saying that, like, I like him. I'm just saying I don't think he's... He's the one guilty in this case. Of doing this murder. Um, mostly because I, I think Danganronpa wouldn't do it that way. It seems too far too easy. And... And I don't know how close I am to my thoughts there, but I think that's that's what I'm thinking in my head right now. Um, I have no main suspects. Uh, the only ones that I would like to eliminate are Kokichi and Himiko, because I don't think Himiko would do it. I don't. I also don't think Maki would do this either, and I'm under the impression that Kaito didn't either, because I, Kaito was the one who was going to be set up. So I don't think he did it, but I don't want to eliminate him. But yeah, let's let's go. <clears throat> she was still wearing that helmet, and her body was contorting in this awful position. Maki logged out, logged out after I did, and she helped me take Mew's helmet off. And then she was gone. Hey, hey. Is that a confession? Hi. How is that a confession? Anyway, the question is the cause of death. What caused her to suffer like this? Use corpse. This is the device we wore on our heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets have their cords plugged in, others have them removed. Hmm. Positive that they were unplugged after logging out. Ah, oh, that's it. The cords. We were supposed to plug in the two cords from the computer into our helmets. The red for consciousness and the blue for memory. If you get those mixed up. Out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I probably... I don't know. i never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Hmm. A glitch. Hmm. Wonder what that has to do with this. Hey, Gonta, are you all right? You're so dumb. Are you so depressed about me? Come on, don't be such a Debbie Downer. By the way, oh, Gonta, I want to know what you think. Rare, I know, but who do you think is the culprit? Also, Go Gonta was um was acting slightly off inside the virtual world. 
he seemed to be better once he got out. He just seemed like... I don't know if, like, Hokichi did something to him inside there, but he just didn't seem like his normal enthusiastic self. He just seemed kind of down. I don't know. Gunta don't know! Gunta not know. Murder already happened when Gunta wake up. How did this happen? What? Why'd this happen? Why Mew killed? Gunta not understand. Gunta not understand anything. How can this be? But Gunta frustrated and sad. Gunta no could protect Mew. He seems to think. He seems all over the place right now. Oh man. He can't think at all when he's like this. It's true! But Gonta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess a big dum dum like Gonta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Yeah, Gonta wouldn't ever lie. Hey! Don't talk about him like that. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed in you, Gonta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry! Gonta, idiot! Gonta so sorry. Gonta is sorry he could not protect you. Gonta. Hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Oh, okay, Gonta understand. Gonta do his best. Gonta do his best to find culprit. Going to definitely do his best this time. Yeah. Yep. Now that's the spirit. Now Kokichi is encouraging him. I really don't know what Kokichi is thinking. I don't completely understand Kokichi. What I do think he does is, is he likes to play at people's minds and trick them into thinking a certain way based on him him goading them into uh into that direction i never thought me would be killed when i saw her avatar there not moving i thought maybe but you're right that's right you saw that muse avatar in the virtual world had stopped moving mm. me kibo and maki all found her avatar hey can you tell me more about that? Any details? I... When you were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel... Hey! You was too, right? No. No. You volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. You volunteered to look around outside? Right? We searched, but we couldn't find anything. That's right when we were starting to get tired. Hmm. All of a sudden, we heard a really loud sound outside. It must be the sound I heard as well. <laughs> Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from inside. Something hitting the chapel wall. Hmm. So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel, and we found Mew's avatar. Uh, um when you went to log out and check Mew's real body, correct? But... But when we got to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. jeez. Oh, and while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. Thank you. I see. Thank you. Oh. That testimony sounded really important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the mansion and the chapel. <laughs> then this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Mew. <sighs> no, because I... I don't know if she was... So, Kokichi was testing in the virtual world if physical contact would hurt the... the avatars. Since all dangerous objects were, were were removed, if strangling someone can be done inside the game, 
Like, cause it's not, it's not a weapon that needs to be brought. Your bare hands are all that's needed. So he's trying to say, maybe someone strangled her with their bare hands instead of someone logging out to do it. Then this helps us narrow down the people who could have come in contact with me. Who could have come into contact with me at the chapel? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know which way the murder could have gone. But we did hear we did hear the loud sound and also Kibo's voice despite being on the other side of the map. Hmm. Alright. From what the time of death indicated in the Muanakuma file, you was killed while everyone you was killed while we were all still in the virtual world. That's right. Shuichi, I gotta explain, just so you don't misunderstand. Uh, um, explain what? Ah. You're talking about how you logged out by yourself, alright? Okay, let's hear it then. What? <laughs> Why are you? Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this game, after all. Don't screw around! Huh? What? Hey! Kaito, just ignore him and talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole logging out thing, I don't really get it myself. While I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in and before I knew it, I was logged out. The same thing happened when I used the phone to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, um... And what happened after you logged out? So... Everyone else was still logged in. But I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So, I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um, and the body discovery announcement woke you? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Heard it and rushed back here. Hey! Do you remember what condition Mew's body was in when you logged out? My bad. Nah, I didn't pay attention to that, so I don't know. You didn't notice anything wrong, like if she was dead or not. Shut up! Like I said, I don't know! Ah. Okay, okay. So I just need to object to the contradiction in that testimony, right? Don't around. I said I'm not lying! Tell him, Shuichi! Shuichi! No, Shuichi. In order to find the truth, you can't be biased. There was a contradiction in that statement? Is it possible that you can log someone out by just saying their name in the phone and it not being that person? Maybe? Hey, hey, Monotaro, what's going on with you? This place is upsetting my stomach. I don't know, you're endangering our entire existence as mascot characters. Monotaro. Right? What about you, Maki? Maki was working on the computer, her hands moving the mouse around rapidly. Um... You know how to work that computer, Maki? Nope. No, not really. I've never used this program before, either. Hmm. I see. Imagine that it would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... But I did find the text file regarding this program. It has info about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what does it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Shuichi. <sighs> According to this text file, the Killing Game Simulator used a certain program as the base. It's called the Neo World Program. Mm. Neo World Program? Hmm, <laughs> never heard of it. Well. In this killing game simulator, objects can't break. Your body's five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what you told us. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your real body will die from shock. Huh? From shock? 
Oh, this is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Well, your five senses are connected, so it makes sense that you'd feel the same amount of pain. Right? So it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from a fatal injury. But the more important question is, why did Mew keep such an important detail a secret? I think she was planning a murder. I think you were too. That is strange. I have no idea why she would have mentioned such an important detail. Did she hide that from us on purpose? Well, that's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportation like mounts do not exist. I see. So you can only move around using your avatar. How boring. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual world. <sighs> That's all it says in this text file. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. That was very helpful. But... But is the info in the text file correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Nuh-uh. I'm not doubting you or anything, Maki. But I'm just saying that the file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original info with false info, you know. But... But to determine that, you would need extensive knowledge of computers. It's my time to shine! This looks like a job for me! Huh? What? Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. I won't get in the way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Little child, what are you saying? Hey. Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot I'm bad with computers, I'm good with computers now. What are you talking about? That logic doesn't make any sense. No way! You can, Monotaro. You're not allowed to help the participants as mascots. You gotta stick to that rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I want to help everyone. I want to avenge my dead mommy. Huh? Your mommy? You mean you? Not that. No, 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 Mamata. You've forgotten again. You've forgotten that she's not our mother. I want you. And you're... And you've forgotten about the most important person you need to protect. <laughs> Shut up, you pig. I'm busy avenging Mommy's death. <laughs> How sad. It looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's someone I need to protect. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. <laughs> um. Oh, man. Are you the one that's gonna die this time? Alrighty then, let's do this. Huh? Do what? So what? I don't care about it either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm. True, I suppose, but... Thanks! Thanks, I'll do my best for mommy's sake. No. Oh wait, perhaps we should. <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched. Wow. Okay. All right, fine. Leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. All right. All right. I'll start analyzing the computer right away. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. <laughs> yeah. His hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. I've already analyzed a few things. Huh? Already? Okay. The text file is consistent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this, too. Is this... This looks like the information of when everyone logged in and out. Okay. There's no signs that this was altered, either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey! Could you show it to me? I saw Kaito, then Kibo logged out. Let me see. Mm. 
Okay, it does have everyone's login and logout times recorded. Aha. Well, aside from you, everyone logged in and out once. Alright. So, Himiko Samugi, Kaito Kibo, Shuichi logged in all together at the same time. Followed by Maki, then Kokichi Gonta, and finally Mew. So I have a feeling Mew must have set up a trap since she was last. I don't know what she did, but she was the last one in making her... She was doing something suspicious. From there, Kaito logged out, as I expected, early. And then it had everyone else log out afterwards in... Roughly in the same order, as was said. I think Kibo said that Maki was the one to actually log out second, but maybe Maki and Himika logged out very closely together, and Maki was more quicker to, to actually, you know, remove the device. It's roughly the same amount of time. All right. You're right. Then it would appear that no one secretly logged out and back then logged back in. Then my main concern becomes Kaito. He logged out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. Alright. Um, also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So. It looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The program's been rewritten? Obviously, he was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So which files did she rewrite and what did she change? Okay. I'm analyzing that, of course, but it's going to take a little time. Yeah. Well, as long as it's done by the class trial, then Shuichi will be able to avenge Miu. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. Then I'll start analyzing the crap out of this program. You're so reliable. That's true. Yeah, way more than you. All right, Kokichi. Can you believe Monotaro is on our side now? All and all for his recently deceased mommy. <laughs> I'm so Dutch, I can't stop crying. The Madokums loved her so much. I'll never forgive the culprit who killed Mew. You're a liar. Um, I've been wondering. What was the secret of the outside world that we were searching for anyway? It's fake. There, there was no secret. I don't... It, there, there was no secret. That's true. We got sidetracked by Mew's murder case never discovered what that secret actually was. We couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh, okay. No, Smoogie and I didn't find anything. My bad. I didn't find anything either. It's probably the same with Kaito and Gonta too, right? Right? And knowing them, if they had found something, they would have told us right away. Yeah. Yes, they would have, unlike you. Whoa. Wow. Shuichi, did you hear that? Thou robots being sassy with me. That's so mean. Did you know? Robots don't need warm blood to function, so they become cold like this. And that's why he's more concerned about the secret of the outside world than poor Mew. <laughs> he told us he couldn't cry even if he wanted to. He went so far to stage his dramatic reaction. That's wrong. Th that's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth, too. Oh. You're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> like I thought, it ended up like this after all. I had a bad feeling ever since I thought I saw Mew from the dining room window. Mm -hmm. You thought you saw Mew? Hmm. 
I, since I've I've already said that I think that she's going to be one of the possible killers, I'm I'm really kind of watching her. There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe ten minutes ago, I walked through it, and I thought I saw me. So you saw me then. Um, I thought it must have been a mistake, since you should have been by the chapel. <laughs> You're only saying you were mistaken so you don't have to feel as guilty. What? Huh? Because? If you had been positive it was me, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know. <laughs> hey! It's just speculation, Kokichi. You can't judge in hindsight. My bad. Oh, we went off a little topic there. Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. What did you do after you thought you saw me? Um, um, I thought I was mistaken, so... But it really bothered me, so... About ten minutes later, I told Shuichi. And while we were talking about it... It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Um, we heard a loud noise and pushed out into the entrance hall. And now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Huh? Key boy's voice, huh? Wasn't he at the chapel? Uh, okay. He was, but Smoogie and I are positive it was his voice. When we heard Kibo from the entrance hall, when he should have been at the chapel. Uh... What? That's weird, because you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and mansion. Even you said that. Yeah, but... Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. I see. You're right. That sound should have reached through the map loading point. So how did we hear Kibo's voice? How were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Maybe someone's lying. What? Lying? Well... Mew must have lied about how the loading point works. Hmm. I know that there was... There was two maps. Like a, a smaller map next to the bigger map. Was the smaller map on the same side as the chapel? Because the smaller map was the inside of the, the mansion. Hey! <clears throat> By the way, Kokichi, did you hear the loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Ah. Hmm, I'm not sure. I might have I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. Yeah. You're lying to his face. Kaito. Hey, hey. Kaito, you keep interrupting me when I talk. Do you like me or something? Don't screw around. Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Shuichi's conversation. Huh? My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about that? Um, well, what I said was pretty much everything. After that, we've been... We headed back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um. We saw Gunta as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with Kokichi. Yeah. Then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about it, though? Did you notice anything? Hmm. How did Kokichi know where we were going to find the signboard after it got thrown? I suppose not. But... I see you're working hard. Sounds like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaito. Shut up! 
Okay, we've got some of these to count. Loud noise. Okay, there's something over here. Small bottle. Ooh, there's something on the seat. It's a small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. Oh? Oh, it's from the Ultimate Detective uh, Lab. This is yours, right, Shuichi? Huh? Mine? Um, no, I guess it's not yours, but it is from your lab. Oh, that's right. This was in the Ultimate Detective's lab. Right? Yeah, it's that poison. Hmm. So, you know about this, Kokichi? <laughs> of course, because I already checked it. We're in a killing game, you know. If there's poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'd investigate them ASAP. That's... is that... Um... Oh, it's not like I can use them. I check in case someone else uses them. Is that really true? By the way... By the way, did you see the label on the back of this bottle? Huh? The label? Um... According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed, so it has to be taken directly. But when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die, even if they only sip a bit. Which means you could get the victim's mouth if you could get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged in. By the way. By the way, I should tell you what symptoms this poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the conjunctiva to explode, which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Shot eyes. That's important information. Um, well, that's everything about the poison. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me as your partner. No. I thought I remembered you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. Hmm, did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about it. Huh? Seriously. Anyway. Anyway, who brought this poison? Do you think the culprit did it? Who brought the poison? Can't be certain yet. But I do know that the poison was left on that person's chair. Okay. So it's on, it's on Kokichi's chair, making it even more unlikely for me to think that he did it. Hmm. I'm looking at the layout of where everyone's sitting. This is going to be confusing. I don't know who did this. Um. How did someone kill you? No, no, no. I feel like maybe this poison was... No. Well... If Mew wanted to poison someone, it would. It, since he said it works immediately, that wouldn't work in this case because she was, she would obviously be the last one who, who logged in, and then the person would die before she logged in. No, I don't. I guess she didn't do it. Unless she had like some way that was going to slowly kill, like, it would something would slowly get to someone and kill them, and she placed it on Kokichi's chair to frame him. Maybe she's planning on framing Kokichi. Maybe she was gonna kill Kaito and frame Kokichi? I don't know. I have investigated everything that I can here. Hey! So, are you done investigating the crime scene? So, do you know who the culprit is yet? No. 
We've got more questions than answers. No. Ah, uh, no. This might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world. Meaning there's a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world. Which means the next area to investigate should be... Oh, I see. The virtual world. We should go there again. Huh? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? I did, right? 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 Got it. If that's the case, then I'm coming too. Oh? Oh, great. He's coming. You he must really like me, huh? Yeah. Hey, whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some clues. With those, I might be able to clear my name. Um. May I join you as well? I think... I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we all go? Ah. Oh, so I get to be that avatar again? What? Huh? Did you actually like the avatar after all? Well, I'm going to stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing that program. Mm. Going to search this place more. There's no time to be sleeping. Uh, that's not what we're... Well, that's fine. <laughs> Then I'll stay here too. Huh? What? Mm -hmm. mm, surprised. Are you gonna get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm busy too, you know. I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything deceitful. Huh? Deceitful? See? Well, you and Kaito are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful for him, right? Thank goodness. Good thing Gonta's here with me. Your glare is too scary to handle alone. Gonta would risk his life to protect me from a murderer. Huh? huh? Hey. hey, if you keep saying messed up crap like that, I'm gonna kick your ass into orbit. I'm right already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry to the virtual world. Uh, okay. K Kaito, let's just focus on solving the case for now. <laughs> fine. Thank goodness. Thank God. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means... So anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Shuichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Your talent can save the useless people here, you know. What? Who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um... I don't. Let's go. Kaito, Kibo, Himiko, Smoogi, and I prepare to enter the virtual world. We picked up our helmets once again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. The right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. Be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place the devices on our heads and flip the switch. Look, my avatar. Um, so you liked it after all. You know. So we're back here. 100%. Apparently, we always arrive in this room when we log in. Hmm. You said that logging in and out isn't possible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then, how did I get logged out while it was on the rooftop? Okay. Yes, we need to investigate that area too. What should we do? First, we're going to check Mew's avatar, right? That's right. I think her avatar is still near the chapel. Yeah. Let's head out to the chapel. Uh, I should check the map before heading to the chapel. There are two maps on the wall, one of the mansion, one of the of the world. I'll check the map of the mansion first. First floor is the salon. Dining room, kitchen, bathroom. The second is the roof. 
we split up when looking for the secret of the outside world. Kokichi had the salon, Tsumugi the dining room, Kaito the roof, and Gonta the outside. I don't see anything. This is the map of the entire virtual world. The world is surrounded by walls in all four directions. There's a loading point in the middle, so the map is split in, in two. No sight or sound can pass through the map loading point. To get from the mansion to the chapel, you have to go through this point. You also have to cross that river that runs parallel to it. That's how this world is designed. It's strange. I feel as though there's some secret to this. This map was made by Mio. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. I understand. Looking at maps makes you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? Hmm. You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, aren't you? No. Uh, I never did anything like that. Shuichi! Don't forget we're here for you, bro! Indeed. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know? Hmm. I'm so proud of you. You've made friends with real people, not maps. That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just investigating. Oh, Shuichi, could you please come with me? What happened? What, what happened? Hmm. I found something strange. I don't know if it's relevant to the case, but I want to hear your opinion regardless. It's right this way. Hmm. This is toilet paper, right? Why would it be in a place like this? That's right. It's cold here. My initial thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. I don't think avatars have bowel movements. I don't have to go at all. Huh? I, I didn't realize that. That never occurred to me, as I do not need to expel solid waste in the real world. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, wait. Still strange. Why would toilet paper be in a place like this? Could it be related to the case? What? Hey, so. Hey, isn't this the signboard that Mew threw into the river? Well, it's my hands in. Saw some other signboard, right? She said there's only one of them. No. It's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks in the river. Ah. Oh, so that's what happened. But, but there's something bothering me. The rocks that the signboard got caught on weren't on the chapel side of the map. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? The chapel to the mansion? It's odd. The flow of the river. Shuichi. Hey, think it later, bro. Let's get moving. What does this river look like? Alright, for now we need to investigate the scene. <gasps> Wait! Wait! How did that signboard get over here? Hmm. I, I think I'm right. The maps loop around. The maps loop around. As I thought. The scene of the crime has not been altered since I found her. Oh, there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. 
that's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. <laughs> I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. What? If you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know. Unfortunately. No, thank you. I do not think I could wait a whole year. A locked out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Look at all this stuff scattered around. What happened here? Jeez. That's what we're gonna start investigating right now, isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Right. Hmm. This was upstairs in that in that storage area by on the roof. Is this a piece of lattice? Why is this here? That is a mysterious object. Uh, um. What the? It's a wooden mat. It used to be common in bathrooms. I didn't see anything like this at the chapel. Where did it come from? Not from the chapel, then why is it here? figured it out with my magic. Huh? Huh? You did? I see. Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river? <laughs> that someone is the culprit. Either that or she was planning on using it. One or the other. No. Uh, I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if you did use it to cross, there's no reason for it to be here. I know that. I was just testing you a little. Why would you want to test me? What does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm not positive why this lattice is left here, but I'm sure I must have to do something with the case. This is a hammer. What would a hammer be in this world? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that can be used as weapons. You said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. Was me lying? But why would she lie? T t she was going to commit a murder. Hmm. Is this a cell phone? Are there cell phones in this world? What could they be you for? No. Ah. It. It's a phone, so <gasps> can she log out with that? Hmm, a cell phone. I can't believe there's something like this here. Oh, Taito, perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I want. I just want to test something out. Come on, man. Help you out. Of course. Of course. I'd never say no to a favor from my sidekick. Thank you. Thank you, Kaito. You know. So what do you need me to do? Is that all right? Ah, uh, you don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here. Am I gonna say Kaito Momota on the phone? Kaito Momota. Aha! I knew it. He logged out just as I thought. This can be used to log out just like the phone in the station, in the salon. And this proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves. If you just say their name, you can log out anyone you like. All right. I see. Thanks to Kaito's help, I'm starting to pin this down. Okay, so she was the one who called to have Kaito logged out. So she was going to set up a murder with Kaito as the... Kaito as the suspect? I don't... I don't know who she was going to kill, but she was going to use him as the, the suspect. Right? Bet Kaito was pretty surprised when he got logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. I should apologize that for later. These avatars frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. 
make sense for a killing game simulator. If the body disappeared, we couldn't investigate her. The avatars never show injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. But... Her face is so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's dead. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, I, I checked everything, didn't I? Maybe I need to talk to them. Um... What's wrong, Kibo? Is something bothering you? Well... I just remembered something. I think the whispering I overheard might be relevant to this case. Uh, uh, heard whispering? Yes. Yes, I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and dispersed to begin searching... Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Mew. Oh. It would seem Kokichi and Mew had made plans to meet each other. Huh? Meet each other? Yes. Kokichi was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. Then... Then the two met on the rooftop? Well... But it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop, why did Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? Okay. So Mew was planning on killing... Mew was planning on killing Kokichi and framing Kaito for it. I see. Why didn't... Why did Mew volunteer to search the area around the chapel? Right. That is true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have wanted to search the mansion. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. And with no bridge to cross the river, she could not have gone to the chapel to, to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about all this. Okay, I'm finished my investigation of this area. Shuichi! It would seem we're finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh, uh, it seems that you can put stuff in your clothes here, too. Just like the real world. I see. Just like the real world. So, what are you gonna do next? Are we gonna go back to the real world already? Oh. Uh, before that, there's one more place I have to investigate. The roof? Yeah. The major rooftop. As I thought. Very well, then. The place Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet. The place Kaito walked out. I'm positive it has something to do with this case. There should be clues there. Uh, I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Shuichi. Yeah, you're right. Um, Shuichi, everyone is counting on you, including myself. Shuichi! Please give the class trial everything you've got and see us through to the end. And I'll do my best of, as well, of course. And I as well. I can at least do that. I'm a detective after all. I've no idea what the toilet paper is doing, though. Shuichi! Hey, Shuichi, what was that all about? Sorry. Uh, Kaito, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see if you could log out using the cell phone. Jeez. Then tell me first. That was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back here. Okay. Uh, sorry. Stop it. Come on now, that's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. <laughs> I wasn't interfering. Wait, why'd you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um... I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Wasn't Mew at the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Oh. Now, now. Let's believe in Shuichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Shuichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective, after all. Hmm. I 
if you're gonna be like that, then do whatever you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Shuichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey now, what are you, some credit-stealing bully? I mean... Well, I'm gonna investigate Mew's avatar since I got interrupted last time. Sorry. Sorry. Well then. Well then, let's go to the rooftop. Yeah. Yeah, we should. This is so unnecessary to put these floors here. Mew and Kokichi were supposed to meet on this very rooftop. And that person in charge of searching this area, Kaito, was forcibly logged out. That's true. This area must have something to do with the case. They might not be directly connected to this case, but I should inspect these binoculars. I can see that this building is on top of the hill. And I can't see past this point because it's the map loading point. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. That storage room. It's a little different than how I remember. It feels as if something is missing. Yeah, the lattice on the ground's gone. But I wasn't paying close attention the first time, so I don't remember. I remember. So, Mew made the map herself. Very likely, the map's not actually supposed to go that way. That, that way's supposed to probably be the end of the world. And this way is supposed to be, like, the way the map actually connects. I'm guessing. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What's wrong, Amiko? Okay. When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, they're always locked room mysteries created by piled up snow. Isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints in the snow, on the snow in this world. Something to be disappointed about? Um. Kibo, did you find anything? Hmm. hmm, this is difficult. There's nothing here that seems to resemble a clue. But Mew should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there are no clues which indicate that. Did Mew ever come to the roof? That is an important question. Hey, hey, Kibo, I want your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from this roof from the outside the mansion? Well... No, that would have been very difficult. Hmm. The rooftop is rather high. Even the ledge of the roof is roughly the height of a three to four story building. You're right. Yes, yeah, certainly too high to jump. Which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. Uh, um, I see. Hey. What's wrong, Smoogie? Uh, uh, look at that doorknob. It's locked. Oh. Uh, it is. It's a thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. I it seems you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole is on this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before. It's to prevent you from locking yourself out. I see. Hmm, is that so? The rooftop has a lock on the door. That is important information. I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... <sighs> oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Aki, why are you here? I thought you were analyzing the program. I told you. Monotaro finished analyzing the program, so you told me to gather everyone. Hmm. Finished? Shuichi! We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Okay. Yeah, you're right. I've investigated everything I needed to. Shuichi! 
Shuichi. Well then, we'll head back first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Uh, did you like it that much? Then we should go too. Hey, what's wrong? Well, it's definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. All the others think so, too. Huh? What? Well... I'm not trying to sound like Kaido, but... I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You are Shuichi Sahara before you are a detective. Don't ever forget that. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Harukawa to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. being considerate just now. Alright. Uh, um. It's just you and me. We should log out too. By the way. By the way, did something happen between you and Kaido? Huh? What? Well, you we logged out a little while ago. It looked like he was in a bad mood. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That was probably my fault. I don't know what happened between you and Kaito, but that idiot is simple, so I'm sure he'd forgive you if you just apologized. Uh, um... Shuichi Sahara. Ah. I pulled the device off my head, and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi. Well, Shuichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? Hmm. Anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Hey. Hey, there's something I want to ask you. Mm hmm? Hmm? I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in, okay? Huh? What? It's a lie. I'm kidding. So what was it you wanted to ask? Is that alright? Plan to meet you on the rooftop, right? Did you end up meeting her? Mm. Oh, so you know about that, Shuichi. Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Okay. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met up with you. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked? Um. After, I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Um. Is that true, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Are you doubting me? That's... Did someone verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? Mm. No, I don't have a witness. Right? But you can also say that there's no witness to can prove that I wasn't there. Hey! Unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway... Well, it's up to you whether you want to believe me or not. Shuichi! But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with Mew or not? Hmm. I... Dunno. I can't tell if he's lying or not. He's... I jokingly said that he's like one of the worst liars, but the problem is he lies so often that it becomes kind of muddled when he's telling the truth. Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Kokichi in the salon. Hmm. I, I do feel that it's like too easy for for him to have committed this this murder, but on the same, he said that <sighs> he did mention the door being locked, and since we did see that there was a lock on that door, I feel like that makes that statement pretty credible. Oh. I'm interested in the results of Monotaro's research. Alright, Monotaro, give me something good because I am really needing a culprit at this point. Hey! I've been waiting for you, Shuichi. 
I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing the program. Okay. I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He really is trying to be our friend. A little bit, at least. So. First, the person who tampered with this program was Mommy, like we suspected. Mm. Mommy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. Oh. I guess her personality wasn't the only eccentric thing about her. About a minute. So, what did she tamper with? Um. A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. Hmm. She said she could... She said she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why is there a hammer? Okay! That's true. Only the hammer was left. But why was it left, hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. Okay, so she definitely was going to commit a murder with the hammer. <laughs> and she died, too. Oh, man. Alright, so... Who... She was definitely going to murder Kokichi. That's who she was going for. For sure. On purpose? Yeah. Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. Hmm. No, that cell phone was an original feature of the program. It implies Mew hid the fact from us. Which means... Um, all Mommy added were the two maps. The rest was already part of the program. By the way... By the way, while we're talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used a signboard to cross the river, but what... But could we have used something else as a bridge? Hmm... Mm, I didn't really see anything that could be used as a bridge to cross the river. I don't think that way was the normal intended way to go over there. That, that's not how the world map was supposed to work, was it? So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. Mm. So, what's the next thing she tampered with? Okie dokie! Well, it looks like she also tampered with certain parameters of the program. Parameters? Um. Everything in that program is categorized as either hu a human or a non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned the human parameter. Really? But for some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. Who? How did someone commit this murder? <laughs> this is confusing. That's what happens when you become an object. Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Well, but if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Perhaps that has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So, Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. Um. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on an x-axis and a y-axis. And it seems Mommy added a wall that runs the length of the y-axis. Huh? She created an additional wall? There were walls on all four directions and two down on the y-axis. Hey! But you're positive there was only one? Okay! Yep, there was definitely the only one. What does that mean? Which wall was the one you added? What was the world like originally? You said there wasn't anything past that wall. No, these these two walls connected. Is that another lie? Also, it looks like that extra wall was given a special setting. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. Yes! Okay! Alright. She was cheating. She was- Oh, she was definitely going for a murder. It allows-
else objects through. I see. I see. That's very interesting. Hey, hey. So, are those all the things she tampered with? Ah. Oh, there's one more thing. Hmm. So, um, one of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar. Huh? A strange setting? Okay. Yeah, the setting made it so that they would be unable to move if mommy touched them. Then, so if you touch them, their avatar would be paralyzed? Hey, hey. Who was it? Oh. Ah, it was Kokichi. Huh? Eh? It's me? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, duh, I wouldn't know. I never touched Mew in that world. Mmm. Okay, so he's he, he is being truthful. He didn't meet Mew. Because he would have been paralyzed if he had. Alright. I see. I see. I didn't even notice. Okie dokie. Well, that's all I have to report. Well, do you think I'd help? it'll help you guys out? Okay. It helps a lot. Thanks. Muse avatar has been updated in the truth bullets. Wall added by Mew. Setting on Kokichi's avatar. Ah. Oh, I should probably tell you this too, though it's probably not related to the case. So. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you all logged in for the first time. Uh, um, an error? Hmm. The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened when happened to someone's avatar when you all logged in. Well, I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. Well... I mean... I, that's, that's not related to anything, right? Because... I mean, I, 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 I'm pretty sure Gonta was just acting weird because, because Kokichi was doing something to him or, or making him feel bad. I don't think it was because he logged in funny, right? What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Avatar error has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Right. Yep. I'll be way more energized. Anyway, that's all. Hey! You seem like you're not into it at all. You don't have to do the class trial, you know. <laughs> but it's gonna start, huh? We no can stop it anymore. You're right. No, we can't. So. This is all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. Uh, I'm your friend. What? Huh? You just decided we're friends? Thank you. Thank you. Going to feel relieved. I mean, okay, well, um, you did say that if you switch your consciousness with your memory, like, there might be, like, some sort of error or whatever that would happen. Is it possible Gunta just didn't know which one to plug it in and he plugged them in wrong? That didn't do anything. It just caused like an error report. I don't know. He did seem off. He, he was like really depressed in there. <laughs> I, just, hey, I, I don't even want to say like he's not depressed now. He's still upset now but there was like a weird sort of there was, he was weird in there. Just like slightly off. Didn't feel like Gonta. 
Don't worry, Monotaro. Shuichi will get revenge for Mew's death. That's so mean. And he'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. He's right. The culprit is someone here. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When this class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. <sighs> yeah, that kind of line <laughs> triggers a death. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, like, he's definitely going to die, isn't he? Yeah, that's the kind of line that triggers a death flag. Okay. I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Wait. That too. Hi. Meeting you all has really... Sorry. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it for after the trial is finished. Yeah. The flag is raising. Hmm? Huh? Hmm, what was that? I think I heard something over there. All right. I'll go check it out all by myself. So long. Farewell. What did you say? It's waving in the wind. This is stupid. Quit screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. Go to do his best. Go to do his best too. Go to do his best to be even a little bit useful for everyone. Wow. I'm so excited. I'll definitely expose the culprit this time. <laughs> What's so exciting about this? Reflecting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the Shrine of Judgment. 